Okay, we are here. Uh, well, Tax is supposed to be here. He'll be with here shortly. Um, I first want to say that um, awesome, awesome. Hmm. I first want to say that. Um, yeah, um, I get, yep, I get, I get a lot of comments from from my last interview with McHenry Cruiser that uh, I didn't make. That they didn't make it to the stream. Well, no one made it to the stream. This is pre-recorded. You can do things with pre-recorded that you can't do on live stream because of YouTube rules. Um, like show flash some uh, heavy-duty hardware. <laughs> so I got TAC here. And um, and this is going to be recorded into three three parts. This interview. Um, we get TAC back. And, um, oh, I'm, I'm right here. I'm my seat ready. Yeah. Here. May peace and blessings be to you and your family, everyone who's watching. Uh, if you want to know more about my channel, it's my name right there on this live stream. Type that in YouTube. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> okay. That's, That's awesome. awesome. I will. Plain shot, you know, you're, you're a brother from another mother to me. <laughs> Thank you. I got, I'm wearing my Cobra Kai t-shirt uh, today, <laughs> this evening. <laughs> um, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm coming right in, with y'all. Right in, right in, right in, right in. Okay. But the best thing about pre-record is, is that we can show all our toys like this uh, HCX 68 here. By the way, I test shot it um, off camera. It is badass. Makes I can only nice imagine. It's a good one. We can have all our toys. Now, that's a less than lethal. Or less than lethal, you could call a uh, rifle. But for lethal, what I got right now, I'm going to get that something better. Be exact. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a pump action shotgun. <laughs> yeah. For right now, this is the best lethal option I got. Hmm. As far as lethal options go, I'm coming right here with this little short buddy right here. Foldable black and stock. This holding stock. This right here, if y'all look close, you can see right there. A E A H P S S. See that? 7.62 millimeter. This is a 30 cal. You see that right there to, on top of the SS? It says semi automatic. So semi automatic. Yeah. Badass. This, this is semi. This is really semi. And uh, it, it's really small. I mean, you can shoot it with one hand if you wanted to. That is awesome. Yeah. Don't want to point at the camera, but just so you guys can get a. Um, yeah. If, if you guys are trying to get you get into. Uh, so this, is, this is about air guns for self-defense. Now, this right here is not a less lethal. It's going to give you 55 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, the United States Armed Forces considers 58 foot-pounds lethal to the touch. It's about doing about three foot-pounds less. Um, right here, I got it dialed up on the max setting. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you get some nice work out of this, man. Uh, this, this comes with two nine-round magazines yep. and uh, a field pro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put it up to about, they say to the 300 bar. I like to go right, take about 270. Works, the cycle's just fine for me. But now look at those. <laughs> look at that. Look at that 68. Look at that 50. Yep. These are the differences. Yeah. In, in the cylinders. Exactly. And let, let me show you the difference in the Devastator size.
Yeah, it's a major difference in, in the basically the magazine. Oh yeah. The one thing I do like about these is how interchangeable they are. You can easily reload another magazine. Oh, and, and, and it's right, it's right back in the fight. Exactly. So now, if you guys want to use these in your uh your uh H H D R sixty eight. If you look, you put them in there, they fall out easy, right? Well, if you look at these ones, it's just a little piece of double-sided tape around, uh, put around the front. Uh-oh, I was just getting a call from my folks. Um, but yeah, look, takes that out. Takes that right out. Good. <laughs> you got it sideways, dude. Got the camera sideways. Okay, you can still see me, right? Yeah, I can still see you. Uh, I'm uh, texting somebody right now. This is another one of my, my best legal brothers. You froze, dude. <laughs> you froze. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me go back to... Okay, where's my stream yard? Should put me back. What the hell? Uh, you're frozen, dude. You're about as frozen as an icicle right now. Okay, I'm trying to get back to StreamYard. You're on StreamYards. Okay. Now let's see. The fuck? No. Mm. Uh. Oh boy. It apparently um something happened. Interesting. You can always get back on the link. What? This is pre-recorded. Well, we can get this back on. Oh, there you go. He's back. No need. <laughs> Something must have happened. All the way out. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do that shit again. <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, bro. Um, back to what I was saying, man. Yeah. You, you want your less lethals, but if shit gets wicked, you, you, you want this. And yeah. then you want this. Exactly. How little it is, bro. It fits right into a backpack. It just folds right, fits yeah. right into a backpack. Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect survival scenario, kid. Take, take you out some small, take you out a rabbit or some coyotes, get you some fur. Of course. And this one can actually break apart and basically um, into three pieces and fit right into a backpack as well. It's, it's on pins, right? You take the pins out, right? You can uh, uh, break it apart into three pieces, pretty much, you know, and put it back and reassemble it. Um, that's how simple this weapon is. So, Anybody that knows anything should know. That's a work of art right there. Thank you. Thank you. They don't make them anymore. And that, that's, a, that's a stealth survival tool. Now, oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure everybody's going to ask, what does this shoot? Well, it can shoot 30 caliber pellets, but I'm, I'll be right back. I, I showed you guys. Okay. I shot on the 58 caliber and a 68 caliber Devastator round. Yep. If you want, if you want to get these, hit up Modern Combat Sports, mcsus.com, 
And we use that promo code TAC fam, man. He's like 40 something bucks. Use that promo code TAC fam, get your 10% discount. But let me let me let me show you exactly what this bad boy shoots. Okay. Voila. Wow. That's a hollow point. A hollow tip slug. You could put anything it, in it there. Look, if, you took, if you took an AK bullet and took the head off, you could set this right on top of the head of an AK bullet and it would fit snug. If you took a, a 30 caliber M1 carbine bullet and took the head off, this will fit snug right on the top of there. This is a bullet head. In the air gun world, ladies and gentlemen, we call these slugs. These are also available in 30 caliber Nielsen specialty ammo. NSA slugs. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. It's an NSA slug. Let's get a closer look. Oh, that's awesome. That oh, is yeah. great. I like the conical shape, like the it has a very conical. Oh yeah, it's, it's a bullet. It's a bullet for damage. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. They got it in 22 caliber, 25 caliber, and my favorite, 7.62, 30 caliber. Um, they also have the backpacker. That's 60 foot pounds of energy. And they have this in a plus model that gives you 60 foot pounds of energy because it has a bigger tank. And uh, it's a 10 inch, 10 inch barrel. Uh, the backpacker is the rifle version. The fold out. But yeah, um, contact Survival Air Guns, survivalairguns.com. Promo code TACFAM, T-A-C-F-A-M. Get your discount there, too. They also got another gun coming out right now, bro. The S-45. Remember that big boy six-round? Mm -hmm. world's the world's most powerful semi-automatic air gun. Well, they just made the S-45 Mini. Oh. Yes. Yes, it's little. It's little like this one. Six, big six-round CNC drum mag and semi power. It's like it's the equivalent of having a, a, a 410 shotgun loaded with slugs. That is awesome. And uh, I mean, this is this is about, you know, we're talking about air guns. We're talking about non-combustible, not black powder. We're not talking about black powder. We're not talking about Oh, shit. <laughs> You need yourself like uh, something like what I got here for this. No, my stand is at my brother's house. The asshole is supposed to bring my shit back. <laughs> it's okay. Kick his ass. <laughs> I know the feeling. Sometimes my brother does things that make me want to kick his ass. <laughs> my God damn it, bro. Remember what you said, man? Yes. Uh oh. We could have lost him. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, you're back. Uh, you're yeah, still frozen. Your okay. I'm still frozen. Yeah, your picture is still frozen, dude. Mm. What the? Although it's a very nice picture. I mean. Kind of has that Snoop Dogg look. Now, now it's coming back. <laughs> it's slowly beginning to move back. Signal thing. I think it's a signal. Are you close to a Wi-Fi source? There we go. <laughs> I'm back. You're back. <laughs> right. All right. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, basically, show them that HDR50, bro. <laughs> uh, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, come, I uh, this comes sold separately in my Carta sheath. I mean, a my Carta uh, holster. My my mistake, <laughs> but my Carta my Carta holster with the HDR fifty. Now, um, do you have pepper balls for that? Absolutely. So you have pepper balls in fifty caliber and sixty eight caliber, right? 
Yeah. The jaw droppers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, you got four pepper balls in there? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. You about to, hey, that will light somebody's ass up. <laughs> yeah. And I got these. Y'all know, in, in an Aragon defense scenario, we're aiming for here. Now, there's some that will instantly break your ribs and make you spit up blood. Yeah. Check out my boy DK Spencer Custom Kinetics, man. Yeah. DK Spencer Custom Kinetics. Or check out my boy Charles over there at Mercy Less Lethal. Him and DK Spencer are good friends. And if you go to Mercy Less Lethal, you get a discount if you use my promo code TACFAM there. T-A-C-F-A-M. That's T-A-C-F-A-M, all caps. It works with survival air guns. It works with modern combat sports. And it works with Mercy Less Lethal. <laughs> now, did you see that? What, what, you, what, are, what, what are those black ones? Are those uh, ceramic, I mean, uh, nylon rounds? Uh, they're uh, the rubber steel, I do believe. Um, yeah, they're the rubber steel. I'm gonna tell you right now, that rubber steel will still tear ass up. <laughs> Gar listen, money back guarantee. Yep, I Even do like that. I do like these micarta holsters for these things. They, I love the the trigger release, the spring load trigger release, and the uh, easy way to open up to the belt and carry. Oh, yeah. Do you open carry? You can't in this state. <laughs> uh, but you can keep it with you, though. I can. Hey, I used to walk around with mines in a nice fanny pack right here with three extra mags. <laughs> yeah. I had one called the Escape Mag. It was loaded with pepper balls. Well, pretty soon I've, uh, I've ordered a vest, a particular camping type of vest that has all the pockets on it. No man. Well, another thing, um, I can get I can get you uh a bulletproof shield, a steel shield, a vest, everything. My boy makes bulletproof uh, helmets as well. Like, yeah, like Sounds so awesome. Yeah, I'm about to be getting into a lot of cool shit coming up, you know, because yeah. if you look at it like this with the fifty, I always kept mine loaded, but these bad boys right here, these devastators. Yeah. It's, a, it's a video on my YouTube channel of one of these shooting into a human leg through some jeans. I've seen that. I've seen it. It's really good. Sick. Check out check out Tack Family Militia TV. Go down there. You'll check it out. It's 11 jewels shot okay. into a human leg. Um, crazy. Now, I think it's my, I I think it's my most popular video. As a matter of fact, if you go to my videos and put it most viewed, it's my, it's my number one most popular video, bro. Now that okay. thing right there. I want to say thanks to you. Yep, thanks to you and the discount. I um, this is the reason uh, and the, your recommendations. This is the reason why I have this. You know, how did, how did, how did, uh, you, you squeezed off a whole uh, mag, right? Squeeze out the whole mag. Um, no. I said, I said, did you yet? Uh, did I shoot oh, it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Did, it, did, I, did I shoot it? Yeah. Mm. I test shot it. How many times did you fire it? I think it was eight times into a... Oh, yeah. To a two. It's, uh, it's an awesome what'd you, weapon. What'd you shoot? Uh, I shot with uh, like, a, like a hard foam rubber boogie board. To see it, what kind of um, impact it would leave. Did it leave some nice indention? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, look, yeah. I'm telling you right now. You load that pepper ball, rubber steel, pepper ball, rubber steel, pepper ball, rubber steel, and you go to town on that. <laughs> <end. laughs> They're not listen. They're gonna get the hell up out of there. <laughs> yep. They're all up out of there. So I hope nobody like I mean, and that thing could be turned up to 50 joules. So it's like 50 joules can kill you. 50 yep. joules to the head will kill you. Which is or good. Or, or or make it to where if you break it in somebody else and intend to do harm, you need to be messed up anyway. Yeah. 
A lot of messed up people out there these days, though. You, you know I've what? You know, you know what people have inside their house? Their family, their social security cards, birth certificates, precious belongings, shit that's hard to get back. Shit with sentimental value been passed down from generations. You know, um, people, people, people. Like it's like this. The reason I got less lethal is because if you break in my house. You're looking at a strike in a lot of time, and I'm going to fuck you up. I don't want to kill you, but I don't want to just shoot you and make sure you get away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I can shoot you with some shit that can hold you there until the police get there. And well, the HDR- yeah, I totally agree with you. And one of the reasons why I did is I've never been in trouble with the law necessarily. But, however, um, uh, it's this – I live in a blue state, Okay. And in a blue state, um, let's say an intruder comes in. Let's say it's a basically the intruder was some uh, was an individual that was represented like a like a pet group that the uh, let's say a liberal DA <laughs> wants to um, uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, is all for protecting and somehow and I you know and I had to kill this person you know in my home, you know, man, because they were invading my house. Well, that being said, um, it, all it takes is one liberal DA to mess up my situation. You know, man? What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. It kind of reminds me of, uh, like, Kyle Rittenhouse, you know? Um, a lot of, you know... It's just we have this blue state, and we don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know who's on the on the bench. It depends if what kind of you know DA you're going to get. If you get a like like a conservative DA, maybe you might fare better. But if you get like one of those liberal communist DAs, you know, man, those social well, justice. I'm, I'm, I'm in Nevada. We still got the castle doctrine. This is stand your ground state. Oh yeah, we we got the castle doctrine here. You know, man, we don't have stand your ground. Um, well, but the you, thing you, is. It, uh, but you know how the law the law is very can be bended depending on who the prosecutor is. Look what happened and, with and, and also depending on how much you spent on your attorney. Exactly. Social social status is is a motherfucker. And I don't have a lot of social status. So that's the reason why I've, I went to less than lethals. Um, so I don't have to basically um, I have to think smarter. I mean, I would. I would rather be, um, I'd rather be judged by twelve and carried out by six. Don't get me wrong, of but course, if I can always. avoid, what? I said always, always. But if I can avoid uh, being, uh, if I if I can avoid both, that's a exactly. Now you're talking because both of those need to be avoided at all costs. Yeah, and that's I'm not. What, gonna- Less I'm not trying give to die you that around. It's a mean choice. Uh, I put it like this. Me dying anytime soon, not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Me not exactly. Protect, me not being able to stand up and protect my house, not going to happen. I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for, 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 for my family. Um, another thing, man, like, look at it like this. You have a five rounds. Pull, pull out the HDR 68. This is another modern combat sports product. Okay. Can you can you give a close up of the magazine? Oh, of course I can. Take, take it out. Of course. These Look are that, that special. These are those special Kevlar rounds. Yeah, high impact Kevlar rounds. Ball. You cannot go wrong right there. <laughs> now, do you have pepper balls for the 68 count? Oh, of course I do. Hmm. Right here. I always have my pepper balls as a uh, secondary, but. Okay, okay. What I would tell you, you always.